show you how to do a wireless screen mirror directly from your Samsung Galaxy S6, S7, S8, all the way to S20 directly to your JVC Roku TV. Okay, now first thing to note that this connection, the screen mirror, has nothing to do with your home Wi-Fi network, okay? This is a direct connection directly from your Galaxy phone to your JVC Roku TV using Wi-Fi Direct, okay? So first thing is, let me show you how to connect. Grab your Galaxy phone, and then you wanna slide down the notification. So go from the top here, slide down. You see a little horizontal line right there, slide down again. And now what you wanna look for is Smart View, okay? Samsung calls screen mirror Smart View. So there's my Smart View right there. If you don't have it on the first page, slide over. Not here, slide over again if you have another page, okay? Anyway, mine is right here, Smart View. So let me tap on Smart View. And now let me wait until it finds my JVC. There it is, 32 inch JVC Roku TV. So let me go ahead and it says mirror screen here. Let me just tap on that. And this message here will pop up and it says start casting with Smart View. So go ahead and tap on start now. Now give it one second. Now if you look in the bottom of my TV, a message should pop up here and it says Galaxy S10 Plus would like to cast video to your TV. Go ahead and click on allow, or if you never want this message to pop up every time you screen mirror, you can always go to always allow, okay? Anyway, I'm gonna go with allow, and I'll show you what happens here. Just be patient, wait a few seconds here, and voila, we are mirroring, as you can see here. Now, the only thing is, with mirroring, it's, um, you can see there's a slight delay. Okay, so it wouldn't be advised to play like graphic intensive games and stuff like that, but you can still um, watch um, videos and shows. The audio will be synced um, to the um, actual show and whatnot. But still, also, this is great for showing like work documents onto the big screen or um, showing photos and videos you have stored locally on your phone that you want to show to family members and friends or whatnot. So, for example, let me go into my photos gallery here, and here's a photo here. And of course you can go ahead, you can zoom in and out, and you can move it around. And let me show you a quick video here. Here's a video. Let me tap on play. Testing. One, two, three. Now take note that the audio is coming out from the TV not the phone. However, you can increase and decrease the volume using the uh, volume rockers on the phone and it'll de increase and decrease the volume on the TV. And if you want to go ahead and disconnect, just go back to your notifications. You can just slide down again, the horizontal line right there, slide down again. And before you should say uh, smart view, but now it says the name that you're, that you're connected, the TV that you're connected to. So mine, for example, now it says, uh, before it says smart view, now it says 32 inch JVC Roku TV. So if I wanted to disconnect, just tap on that. Oop. Just tap on that. And there we go. And we should disconnect. And there we go. You just uh, disconnected.